Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing Tech Review Tuesday on a Saturday. Or is it Tech Review Saturday on a Tuesday? I don't know, but we got plans this Saturday, so I'm making sure we get this done. We're picking on uh, QuickCrete, and I'm not picking on them. Somebody asked me that in the comments. Why are you picking on QuickCrete? I don't pick on people. It's just this is one of the most popular set of products out there, so we might as well focus on it. Um, we'll start looking at Satacrete and Cementol, and we looked at some secret products, but let's look at this crack-resistant concrete. Now, I like the fact that they use the word crack-resistant, not crack-proof, because unfortunately, concrete always has that tendency to crack, just because we go from one volume to a smaller volume as we go through the thermokinetics of cement hydration. So making a crack-proof concrete is not impossible, but more so improbable because there are certain things that you can't control outside the mix. It's not just the mix. But we're going to start off like we normally start off. We're going to dissect this bad boy, and then we're going to throw it in the mixer, and then we're going to make up some panels. So before we do that, should I explain the test? So we're not doing strengths. I don't care about strengths. I care about cracking. So we got this fun test that we do where we take this small panel right here. So it's a five inch by five inch by what, inch and a half thick. And then we also put some of these um, acrylic beams in here. And what they end up doing is causing restraint. So we put these, we make three slabs up. We put them in an environment that's what is it, 100 degrees plus or minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit, or a relative humidity of 32 plus or minus 2%, I believe, and then it has an evaporation rate of 2.4 to 3.2 grams per liter. So we're going to be putting in the uh, that chamber that I was talking about, and it's got a high evaporation rate, it's real nasty, uh, basically trying to force it to crack. And we're going to watch it over seven days and then figure out when it starts cracking and the amount that it cracks and if this is a crack resistant, it should retain its original shape without cracking over the seven days or pretty freaking close to it. So let's get to dissecting. resistant concrete we're using 23 pounds of dry material it tells you to use three quarters of a gallon for one 80 pound bag but what we've seen from quickcrete so far is that we always have to double the amount of water so I'm actually weighing up somewhere a little bit above two pounds of water I'm starting out at a thousand milliliters and I'm trying to reach this two to three inch slump. up our quick creek crack resistant I think it's 1106 um, we use this uh, variation of ASTM C156 which puts our concrete in a very controlled environmental unit so it's at 100 degrees plus or minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit 32% relative humidity plus or minus 2% and it has an evaporation rate of 2.4 to 3.4 grams per hour um, so it's a nasty environment and what it's trying to simulate is a dry windy day and how that's just going to draw moisture from that surface and 
the variation that we do is we fix these longitudinal members inside the, the sample or inside the mold of the sample um, that go about halfway deep and what they end up doing is restraining the bottom of the concrete as the top of the concrete wants to move because of that evaporation. And normally what happens is you have this spider cracking or this crazing at the surface. It almost looks like a city map. And as you can see with this Quickcrete 1106, I mean, I've got three samples. So we do three samples for repetition. And there's no cracking. Um, wait. There's cracking. I mean, it's not bad. You know, normally you can like see them, like see them, see them. See. So this cracks like this all over the surface. That being said, if I didn't draw those out, you wouldn't see them. Those are the cracks on the surface. And for this test, that's really freaking good. Final review of the Quickcrete 1106. It's, it's my favorite Quickcrete. Not a paid uh, advertisement or endorsement. My chief complaint is you have to put more water in than what's recommended on the, the back of the soup can or the back of the bag. Uh, and that I don't like. You know, that, that's easily solved. And that's really what's something that we found for all Quickrete mixes. Every single one of them, we've had to add more water than what was recommended. So, um, yeah, that's an easy fix. But of all the mixes, I like the crack resistant the best. And we put, I believe, somewhere around, uh, gosh, what was it? I think it was 80 grams of color for that that 22.94 pounds that we used for the stepping stone mix. And it held that color. We'll show you the stepping stone mix here. It goes up tomorrow. I mean, just a really beautiful color. Absolutely beautiful color. Look at that blue. Look at that blue. I mean, that is just, that's that quick creep. That was a really, I really like that mix. I think I might use that mix in the future. We'll try it out with other projects. It was fun.